Miller Hyde. The team came together uh, through actually something that the SAFC put on. Uh, I, can, I guess I could liken it to almost like speed dating. Uh, they put on a, a networking night where we actually moved from table to table and so producers and writers and directors could all get to meet each other. It struck me that Dave was a director with a really big um, history in the comic um, in the comic area who had some really exciting scripts that I wanted to work on. So we formed a team of four producers and from there we basically started working on Camilla Hyde. The main character of Camilla uh, was always going to be Annie Linda. He gave me a call, asked me if I'd be interested in working with him and the rest is history. <laughs> we basically devised a model, um, that um, a low budget model where um, everybody worked on deferred payment um, with a share in the royalties of the film. The challenges were, I guess, uh, not having the, the total manpower that a, a normal feature film would perhaps have. At any one time there were probably five key crew. So there was uh, the director, the DOP, uh, a camera assistant slash gaffer, a sound recordist and makeup uh, on standby. And that were basically the five key crew at any one time. There's a problem when, you, when you're making a, a low budget indie film where everyone's working on deferred payment. Casting agents are generally not really willing to be involved. Deferred payment didn't bother me purely because it gave me an opportunity to further myself and to work with Dave and an amazing cast and crew. Being a low budget, I found that uh, I had to be very resourceful and uh, double up um, and multitask where I could. I'm a producer, but I was cooking and cleaning and driving people around and, you know, chief cook and bottle washer, <laughs> you know. When you say low budget, a lot of people tend to think, oh, a bit shonky, everything's done on the cheap and with the budget we had, it looks like a, a million dollar film. Basically, to keep the production costs to an absolute minimum, um, we did the conventional big borrow steal. Uh, we just didn't pay for anything. Tony and I basically did most of the catering, so we would just shop every day and, and cook and do everything ourselves. One of the things we were really lucky with was getting great locations. And um, uh, I mean, being Ray and Vicky's house, which is the house in Mitcham that um, Millie actually lives in, um, that was basically, we didn't, we didn't even touch it. We spent very little money on the wardrobe. Most of the actors contributed um, a lot of their own clothes. To make sure that we stayed and kept the film on budget, we basically had to make sure we stayed to the schedule. We had to say, okay, did we get this in the can? Is it good enough? And if it is, you sort of do a big mental tick and go, yep, yeah, okay, we're moving on. And, and I think that's the sort of, probably the scariest sort of compromise you have to make. 2020 hindsight, I'd love to go back and maybe have a little bit longer on one or two of the scenes and maybe get the odd extra shot. But um, that's true of any film. We were hoping to do it in three weeks, but um, we had to do some pickups and various things. There were some time constraints because of our lead actor um, having to go on to another project. Usually you'd want somewhere around about six weeks, but because we were shooting in limited locations and we shot hard and fast, we were able to achieve it in three and a half weeks. We were getting nearly double the industry um, time when we were shooting. We were getting um, five to six minutes a day, so it was pretty intense, pretty full on. When you're trying to shoot four, five, six minutes worth of final footage in a day, that just taxes everybody. I guess you just have to try and get in as much sleep as you can whenever you can, <laughs> whether that means sleeping on set <laughs> or not. Yeah, we had more than our fair share of uh, war stories. Um, one of the actresses managed to uh, nick herself on the knife, if nicking is the right word. We were shooting one of the action scenes in the film, which involved a stabbing uh, and involved a very sharp knife. Unfortunately, that knife went into the back of my hand during one of the takes. We managed to uh, burn the carpet of the house that we were actually shooting the location. Black carpet, brand new, it had been laid a week before we started shooting and halfway through the shoot, um, unfortunately, we burnt the carpet badly. Sort of wrap the set, but avoid telling the owners because we knew that that would be a bit so we wanted everyone to be packed up and gone before we told the owners that we'd burnt the carpet and organised how to replace it. Like everyone was just oh my god no everyone left all of a sudden we were packed up and gone and there was Dave and I and I'm saying Dave can I go home now <laughs> and he's going no you've got to stay with me. So we're like oh my god 
you know, the location's going to throw us out and the whole thing's absolutely doomed and, and we're going to be up for like 2,000 bucks. And then unfortunately, about three days later, we burnt the carpet on the other side of the room. I would really like to be able to do films that were ultra low budget because I just like the immediacy of them. Um, and it also means that you're not beholden on the marketplace. You can actually tell the stories that you want to tell. Marketing the first film you've ever produced is probably got to be one of the scariest things you can ever do because you've got something that you believe in and you've got something that you think is great and looks great. And it's sort of like the one step between where you're at now and actually the audience that you want to see it. At the end of the day, uh, I think um, the satisfaction of, of doing something um, within budget in such a short time and such a quality product, um, you know, is, is very fulfilling. To be able to look at the image on a large screen and see how much, for me, a lot of the images look like paintings, which I think is pretty beautiful. And I think it's really lovely. I think they've done a great job. So now you've made me remember, can you make me forget?